Good team exclusive and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video today. Um, first things first, we are in the exclusive lounge. As you can see, it's looking oof, it's looking pretty nice to be fair. Here with obviously my my throne of FIFA points. Um, we have we didn't have much of a budget left for our, our TV, so unfortunately. Yeah, that's as, uh, that's as good as it's, as it's going to get. I can't actually... Yeah, whatever's on that screen is uh, basically unintelligible. But uh, as you can see behind me, there is a bunch of shirts. And uh, if you want one of these shirts, all you have to do is just hit that subscribe button and you'll get yourself uh, one of those printed out. Obviously, you can see mine in the middle with the exclusive logo. We've got the England badge because... I am uh, unfortunately British and then we've got the gold two badge because I'm a gold two merchant most of the time when I'm not getting a silver one. So uh, it's looking pretty, pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's what we do, you know, it's what we do. Have a lot of fun. But uh, today's video is going to be a concept video now to kind of stress that because it should be in the title. It's just a concept. It's not real. I'm hoping it will be real at some point, um, but we all know EA and it's probably uh, probably not going to happen, but either way, it's, it's a concept I want to kind of talk about because I think it's a, it's an interesting idea and it's something I really want them to kind of uh, do more of. You know, maybe not just icons, because that's what we're going to be talking about, icons today. Uh, maybe not just icons, but more of these type of, of uh, challenges and milestones and that kind of stuff. So uh, let's jump over to, not the game, we want that one. So Icon Squad Foundations. Now, this is the concept idea I've come up with because Icon SBCs are meant to be coming out sometime in November. They say late November. Um, whether that be this Friday or whether it be next Friday, I I don't know. Um, or next week sometime. Sometime it's meant to be coming out in November. And, and this is the idea I kind of came up with for Icon SBCs. Um, we do have Icon Swaps coming out in December as well. So there is that. But... Um, I really, really want them to add some sort of icon objectives, milestones that you can actually play to to earn. Because as we know, icon SPCs, if we go off the example of say, and I, I don't think they'll actually do this, this is going to be quite extravagant, but um, say they release a mid, because I think it'll be mid and baby icon SPCs coming out in November, but if they, they release say a mid hullet, for example, a lot of people probably would want that card, me included. You know, I think that card, even the mid one, looks uh, incredible. Hullet has always been a bit of a beast. But uh, yeah, they released mid mid Hullet and guaranteed he'd probably require an icon. As we know, that's how they work. So you have bronze, silver, gold, and usually an iconic SBC, which, which requires you to put in an icon. Um, not all of them do. Some of the low tier ones don't, which is quite nice. But um, yeah, some higher tier ones like Hullet probably would. So I think... Letting people play, as you can see, for an icon would be incredible. You know, it would be really good. It would be really good fun. Obviously, it would be more competitive because people would really want that. Uh, but it would also give an option, you know, because icons on the market not only would probably go up in price. I, I highly doubt they won't. You know, if an icon like Quillet comes out, I think icons, especially baby ones, will go up in price quite considerably. And that would obviously lower the demand. That would lower them on the market. So there'd be less of them. And then, of course, their price would go up even more. So I think letting people play for an icon um, would be a really good option, whether it be an objective, uh, whether it be a milestone. I think having a milestone there unlimitedly for the rest of FIFA 21 would be a really good idea. You know, even if you limited it to 45 days, which I think is uh, which is pointless. But even if you did that, I think it would still be a really good idea. Who cares, really? You know, if you want to play for an icon, even if it is obsolete by the end of FIFA 21 and you, you want to complete it by then, who cares? Just just let us do that. What is the problem? Like, we've got such a shortage of these um, these milestone squad foundation things. We had the MLS one, which was incredible. Again, MLS players, quite hard to link, but I've got a couple in my team, and I think they're really good fun. It was really good fun just to try and play and earn these special item cards. Um, so why not do it for icons? You know, obviously, as we've got here, Kaka being quite a um ludicrous example but it was just one example i picked up so i i you know not necessarily kaka but the idea is the same so you've got a certain number of of objectives to complete uh, as you can see we've got uh, six eight again i think it could be in that kind of region eight to ten you need a lot i think that'd be quite fair having a lot of objectives 
to then earn a really sick icon. Um, but yeah, as we know how squad foundations work, you play a couple or you've got a couple of objectives in there that give you players. So in this one, obviously, Icon Mash, we've got um, gives you a baby icon uh, Kaka. You know, again, doesn't have to be Kaka. It doesn't have to be Kaka. Sorry, it can be any icon. So um, just having a baby icon that you can play for would not only give you another option instead of having to go to the market and pay an exorbitant price for an icon off the market, uh, you can actually earn one just by playing the game. Again, it doesn't have to be milestones, but I'd really like it to be because then you could have a group award like the example we've got here being a prime moment Akaka. And who wouldn't, who wouldn't want that card in your team? You know, not the best icon, but definitely not the worst. Again, I, the problem I've got is it's unrealistic that EA would let you play for three icons. I just, you know, especially Kaka being so expensive, they'll be like, no, he's too expensive. I'm not gonna let you, not gonna let you get him for free. Even though he'd be untradeable and it'd be pointless and you could easily just put him in an SBC. You know, 87 Kaka, you could have in form 89 Bruno Fernandes in your team and think, okay, I don't actually need the in icon Kaka, even though he's sick. Um, I just don't have much need for him. So you could put him in an icon SBC, get that completed, get a different icon and use that possibly. Um, I don't know. We all know that the rewards would be untradeable because that's how EA works and everything's untradeable these days. Um, so I really don't see the problem. Like, just let us play for cards that are fun, you know? I don't know. I really don't. It's, it's a topic that I think EA needs to improve on um, because we, of course, have icon swaps coming out as well in December and we all know how those work. Um, hopefully, again, before I go on to this, EA doesn't just rinse and repeat the icon SBCs and icon swaps from FIFA 19 or FIFA 20. Uh, they don't just take those and, and put them straight into FIFA 21. Hopefully they change it because icon swaps, you know, they released for the first couple of weeks the first load of tokens um, and, you know, you couldn't earn some of the higher end icons until they released the second batch of tokens. So they, you know, they limited it to how quickly you could actually earn those icons. I don't see why. Just let us earn these players because they're untradeable. You can't sell them. So what does it matter? Like, let us earn these icons when we want. Why Why are they limiting it to when they decide we can actually earn these icons? I just, it doesn't make it, it's baffling. It really is, it's baffling. You know, because if you want to earn it in the first week and to get your favorite icon, I don't know, Kaka, Sen, Drogba, whoever, you know, whoever's in the, in the icon swaps, if you want to get those in the first week, why can't you do that? Or if you want to take the full length of 30 days or 45 days or however long the icon swaps are in in the game for, uh, or if they're in the game for the entirety of the game, you know, if you want to do it at the end of the game, why not? Just let, let us do that. Again, yeah, they would be obsolete because team of the season, whatever. But again, it doesn't matter. We should be able to earn these players when we want to. Um, uh, like, I think there was a good foundation with the MLS squad foundations uh, milestone. You could earn it as quickly or as or as long you could take as long as you wanted for that that milestone i think that's a really good foundation to build on we just need more of those and i'm not trying to complain by saying oh, we haven't got enough content in the game because there's been so many player objectives released and i think it's so good um i just want more milestones i think they're really sick you know having some even like if they did premier league lower lower tier premier league, lower tier premier league players um that are slightly boosted you know maybe more obscure Premier League players that aren't as used as much or maybe as OP and they get a bit of a boost um that would be really cool that would be really cool maybe some Arsenal players like David Luiz gets a gets an 84 rated card like a squad foundations card and he's now somewhat usable um that would be really cool that would be really cool but obviously we are focusing more on icons but uh, yeah I, I i had this idea because obviously icon spcs are coming out and icon swaps and i really hope they do some sort of objectives or milestones for us to actually play for icons instead of having to obviously you play for icon swaps but you will play for the token so um why not release like one icon that's in an spc not an spc in a, in a milestone or objective that you can't earn through the uh, through the swaps or through the spcs you know, just give us that option. I think that'd be really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows whether or not that's actually going to happen or not? I 
don't know. It's one of those that I can see possibly happening, but they've given us like loan objective rewards, so you can't actually use them for any kind of SBC or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. But that's kind of my take on it. Hopefully they just change it up this year and uh, make it, I don't know, make it a little bit different because yeah, Icon SBCs are really cool. But again, that requires you to actually, you know, possibly buy players so let's play for them you know let's play for some of these players it doesn't have to be high tier icons i just think any icons would be really cool to play for um but we'll have to see they'd probably make it in incredibly difficult and basically obsolete by the time you do get them so i don't know that's being pretty pessimistic obviously that's being pretty pessimistic so uh yeah staying positive we'll have to see what happens but i really hope they do something like this hopefully they really do uh think about maybe doing some more icon squad foundations or milestones or you know releasing more milestones in general any kind of milestones we've only had mls so let's have you know syria league and premier league just just you know i don't know i don't know i really don't know maybe they've got a certain content cycle drop that they uh, they're sticking to and uh this is the way it's going but i just think there's there's just a bit of a lack of uh milestones really to play for so so it's my opinion, that's my opinion and that's my take on it. It's just an idea I came up with that I thought would be quite fun, especially as the new release of Icon SPCs are coming out, so I thought that could be could be quite a fun idea. Um, do let me know what you think in the comment section below. Would you like to see this or do you think it'd be uh, maybe too difficult? Would it be kind of too pointless? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Have your say as well. But um, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Um, I just... I just hope they do it different this year. I really do. That's kind of the the idea of this video is just uh, just talk about some some things that you know I'd like to see because I think there's a lot of pros they've done this year. You know, with milestones like the the MLS squad foundations changing it up because last year we had the you know the league themed player SP, uh, player milestones. They were pretty cool, uh, just a bit pointless. Um, so I think they've done a lot right with the squad foundations. We just want to see more of it you know there's a lot more they've done right a lot more they've done wrong and i think where they've done right they do need props for let's just hope they they continue to do that and not um not focus too much on making us or, or forcing packs down your throat um give us something fun to play for that's all we're asking for that's all we want it's just something fun to play for in the game um i don't know and take away that stupid friendlies game limit that's completely retarded so but that's, uh, that's another point. Either way, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do drop it a like. That will be uh, greatly appreciated. That, of course, will help the channel out massively. And, of course, it will show me you like this video. Um, of course, like I said, drop me a comment if you want to. What your opinions are on the whole um, icon milestone or milestone situation. Let me know in the comment section below but of course if you haven't already please do hit that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family get yourself a shirt on the exclusive lounge as well but uh, with that said uh, i do hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time